The Logansport Mall is valued at nearly $3 million, but a sale for the foreclosed property to a private developer fell through. Now the bank, which owns the land, blames the city of Logansport for the lost sale. News 18 Samantha Tiki joins us now with what the city is saying about the accusations. Sam. After a foreclosure, the bank which owns Logansport Mall has been seeking a developer to take over the property. But according to this cease and desist letter, the bank accuses Logansport Mayor Ted Franklin of talking the potential, potential buyer out of the sale. But the city disagrees. As far as the, the city trying to scare bidders away in order to buy the mall, I think that's, that's simply uh, inaccurate. The Logansport Mall isn't what it used to be. It needs redevelopment. It needs a, a lot of work. And just the fact that it's been empty for so long is, is testament to that. After a foreclosure, the property owned by Algonquin State Bank is on the market. And the bank says the city of Logansport got between it and a potential sale. It feels like the, uh, the bank uh, has talked to some people and thought that uh, the mayor was telling a buyer not to, not to purchase the mall. Uh, and that's, that's their allegation anyway. A cease and desist letter from the bank's attorney says Chris Berger had agreed to buy the mall, but terminated the agreement the same day he spoke with Franklin. The bank alleges Franklin convinced Berger to not buy the property, all because Franklin had earlier made an offer of his own, as well as suggested the mall could be donated to the city. Logansport City Attorney Randy Head says the accusations aren't true. The city doesn't want to own the property. Uh, we're not landlords. It's not our core competency. Uh, we'd like to have someone else come and do it. He says Berger wanted to buy the property, keep some to develop himself, and sell the rest to the city. But Head says Franklin wasn't interested after learning the price. That's when Head says Berger backed out of the sale. The mayor was not doing anything malicious or trying to scare off a potential buyer. Uh, just the opposite. We were engaged in discussions uh, trying to help uh, a buyer, and, and we couldn't reach an agreement. Head says the mayor was just trying to do what is best for the city and would never stand in the way of a developer. We don't want to scare off any buyers. We want more buyers to come and take a look, or more potential buyers to come and take a look uh, and get something going on that property. News 18 has repeatedly reached out to the representing attorney for the mall's owner, but messages have not been returned. News 18 was unable to contact obtain contact information for Chris Berger. Samantha Tiki, News 18.